Hello guys, today I'm going to talk about the module D, which is acetylcholinesterase inhibitor, um, short form 2, A-C-H-E-I, I stands for inhibitors. Yeah? So you have seen um, the one about the biosynthesis of acetylcholine. So now when you have uh, the pre somatic nerves firing off the acetylcholine, and acetylcholine actually has uh, bind to the, the acetylcholine receptor, muscarinic or nicotine receptors. And so what, hap what happens now? Yeah. Uh, so they need to be usually naturally in the body that they will be hydrolyzed uh, by acetylcholine esterase. Yeah? Uh, but then at the same time, uh, for those uh, patients who actually lack of the acetylcholine, uh, example in mycelogravis and so on, they would actually um, be a good uh, point for uh, a drug discovery effort, uh, meaning that um, the the drug can be uh, you know a, a drug or natural products can be designed to be an anti cholinesterase inhibitor. But first, before we go on to the the agents, yeah, we need to find out uh, how does the enzyme work first. Yeah, because the knowledge of how the enzyme work will help us, uh, will inform us on how to better design a particular drug. Okay, so um, so now we're going from we're going to the uh, acetylcholinesterase inhibitors. You have seen this before. We're going into the um, reversible, which is the carbonates. Yeah, we're gonna we have a, have a look at uh, physostigmine, and later we're gonna have a look at the irreversible. Uh, anti cholinesterase inhibitors, which is the organophosphorus. Okay. Um, this is a video from YouTube. Let's have a look quickly. A deep within the protein. We will look at a cutaway of the enzyme to take a closer look. The catalytic triad is found here at the bottom of a gorge 20 angstroms deep. It is composed of glutamate, histidine, and serine. So this, this catalytic tri triad is very important um, biochemically and also for in the design of the anti stress inhibitors. Yeah? Uh, especially in terms of serine and histidine, we'll see later. Yeah? The active site for the reaction is on serine where an oxygen is loosely bonded with a hydrogen. This hydrogen also shares a partial bond with histidine at times. Here it... Okay, what you need to do now is to actually watch this video. Um, so I'm going to put the QR code in this video, you can see later. Uh, I'm going to go back now to go to the step-by-step -step on how does Cholinesterase, acetylcholinesterase acts so that then we have the knowledge on how to um, design a, a strong inhibitor for that particular enzyme.